What is the topic of your documentary, Sometimes I Can Fly? The topic, the main topic of the documentary I produced is to raise awareness about the accessibility, about uh, to create a, an inclusive society, adopting an inclusive design, and uh, to stimulate all the architects, urban planners, transport service team, cycle path team, to create a city accessible to all. In this movie, we can show Alex, he's in a wheelchair, and we can see all of the difficulty he has. Can you tell us more about it? Alex is a really special guy. I met him in 2009, and with him I started this uh, activity of uh, accessible automobile. And he offered his body, himself, as an instrument to show the, the architectonic barriers all around Oroville, in order to show the architects and the resident the difficulty that we have here and there, because the architectonic barriers prevent people to lead on a normal social life. Can you give us some specific example of uh, this kind of problem of accessibility in Oroville? There are, there are still many. Toilet in the solar kitchen. There is no an accessible toilet in the solar kitchen. And Alex, you can see in the documentary, has to use a mug to go to the toilet. La terrasse above the solar kitchen, Paranivas, is still almost completely inaccessible, even if there is a kind of entrance on the, from the back side, but it's not uh, really accessible. There is no really accessible toilet, and uh, matrimony is completely inaccessible. Because, uh, you know, it's uh, important to know what does it mean, accessibility. You know, somebody said, oh, but, uh, you know, matrimony, they lift people, go up, and this and that. Yes, but accessibility gives a person the freedom and the dignity to go everywhere at any moment without asking help. That is important. Why accessibility? Because, uh, you know, if I want to go to the auditorium, even if I have crutches, okay, I am able to go. If there is a, but it's not accessible. For example, today, just today, I receive a call that some another another person on the wheelchair, Walter, is is the second time he's coming here, is a wheelchair user. He wants to go to auditorium on Friday to see the performance. So somebody called me to ask how he can reach the audience. So this is uh, just uh, a few example. Unfortunately, our we has a lot of work to do in this, in this matter. And why it's so important in Auroville? Nowadays it's important everywhere, because in the West, the accessibility now is a priority. You can't open a restaurant if you don't have an accessible entrance and an accessible toilet. You can't open a school, you can't open any, any public place. I'm coming from a city where the accessibility is quite very well de developed. And here, that is uh, a city of uh, human unity. People are coming from all over the world. Auro is uh, famous all over the world. So we have to welcome everybody. We have to give an example. And also, there are residents who are aging, who have accidents. Many times they call me. They say, that, you know, I have uh, had an accident. How can I reach the auditorium? How can I reach here? I can reach there. And so we have to think about it. First of all, about the resident. I start this, uh, this work thinking of the resident, first of all. And then, of course, also to the visitor, the volunteers, everybody. And for example, Alex is a volunteer. Since uh, 2009, we start working together. And so he stay in Mitra guest house. And then uh, in the toilet, as uh, you can see in the documentary, toilet is not accessible. No? So I ask uh, Sanjeev to make uh, a little change to make a little more accessible. It's not completely accessible, but at least now there is a, a slope and then there are grab, uh, so he can, and then now the toilet is at the right level. So at least he is more comfortable to go on and out, in and out.